Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devin and I did a huge Ulta Target haul. They had their 20% off skincare and I also picked up some new things from Sephora and I wanted to just do a quick run through of everything I got. I would love to hear what you want to know more about. For some of these things, I've had the chance to test them and others I haven't as much. So if I have any thoughts to share on each product, I will definitely share those as well. But let's jump right into the video. First up at Sephora, I picked up the In Beauty Keep It Clean Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I put this one immediately in my shower and you can see I've kind of already dived into it. If you watch my January favorites, I talked about how I was gifted a mini by the brand and a mini set and I brought it on a, you know, weekend long trip that we had. I fell in love with it. It removes makeup really well. It's a gel, but it's really gentle and it foams and even with my dry skin, this hasn't dried me out and I've just been really, really loving it. It has a nice scent. I love the pump. Even the mini one has a pump, which I love. So, if you love a gel cleanser that foams but is gentle, this one is fantastic. And then I also have been dying to try the Glossier. This is their After Balm, and this is like truly a really thick ointment. Glossier launched at Sephora, and the day that they launched, I grabbed this. So I've probably used it like three or four times. This is really thick and really nice for the price. It has really cute packaging, and I like that this really feels like an ointment but spreads really easy across the skin unlike you know the La Roche-Posay Kikoplast. So I can still feel this on my skin in the morning. I have really dry skin and my skin feels amazing when I wake up. So first impressions of this are really good and I haven't gotten any new breakouts from it. So, so far I'm really impressed with this one but I will keep you posted. The other things that I grabbed were makeup. I grabbed one of Rare Beauty's new, their souffle lip creams they're matte lip creams i feel like this formula isn't talked about enough it is so comfortable if you like a matte look but don't like your lips to be dried out is it the most hydrating formula on the planet no but i feel like i can apply this over lip balm and my lips feel really comfortable and nourished but i still get the matte look of a lipstick so I still get the look of a matte lipstick is what I mean. So the shade is like a mauve rose pink, but you can kind of warm it up with a brown lip liner. It's beautiful. I actually just filmed a reel on Instagram with this in it that I will link below, but I have this in Strengthen as well, and I think I'm going to probably pick up a few more shades because the formula is just so good. Another Rare Beauty find is the bronzing stick in bright side which is their new bronzer that is meant for fair skin tones and it has a neutral to cool undertone i love this formula because it feels so powdery on the skin like it really dries down it doesn't have that balmy or sticky feel so if you like a cream product but you don't like a sticky feel this formula was amazing but none of the colors worked for me they were all too orangey and too warm this is my perfect bronzer perfect formula perfect color i love a stick and i love that the cap clicks on because you could hear that it just stays shut it's like the perfect packaging it's so compact for travel i feel like i finally found my perfect cream bronzer for fair neutral skin and i'm doing a huge bronzer roundup which is why i picked up two more bronzers that launched Actually, only one of them is new, but the other one is new to me. So I also picked up, say, Fair Bronze. And this, I feel like, is bombier than their other bronzers that they've previously launched. But it still isn't, like, super sticky on the skin. But the color of this doesn't quite show up on the skin. So I feel like the tone, it's truly, like, a neutral bronze tone. But it just doesn't quite have enough pigment to it. For my personal preferences but if you're fairer than me and there are definitely people out there fairer than me or you're cool toned you have to check this out i feel like it looks so natural and beautiful on ultra fair skin the other one that i love that i truly think would work for cool neutral or warm fair skin is the gucci bronzer in the shade 01 i actually saw amanda z talking about this and she shared a swatch that it has like a little bit of a pinky undertone and if you've seen the new jones road bronzer that launched and the dusty rose shade i actually have it i have it right here you can see a lot of people were like that looks straight up like a blush but this looks really natural um, for a bronzer on cool toned fair skin 
Um, and this has a similar like pinky undertone, which I actually think doesn't pull up on camera. You can see that it has like a little bit of redness to it, which makes it look so natural on my skin tone. It's a little bit luminous, but barely. It's truly the perfect powder bronzer formula in my opinion. Like if I could only pick one powder bronzer to use the rest of my life, it would be this. It's incredible. But again, I'm going to do kind of a roundup. I have some different drugstore ones that I grabbed from Ulta and Target. I have a bunch of high-end ones. I have some like mid-range ones. I have powder. I have cream. So I'm working on a like big roundup video. So I will keep testing out some different bronzers and share that video when it's all complete but I like to just test out bronzers on, with like a bunch of different bases and all of that so that my video can actually be very comprehensive and helpful so do to do I think that's everything that I picked up from Sephora but let's jump into like the more affordable stuff that I grabbed from Ulta and Target I'm gonna jump into some skincare that I picked up first and then I'll show you guys the makeup that I grabbed but I really wanted to try this hero cosmetics clear collective gentle milky cleanser again I have dry skin but I'm acne prone and so I wanted to check this one out obviously I have not opened it yet but I'm really excited to try this. I wanted to try more from the brand besides their pimple patches, which have been, you know, like my favorites for years now. And I also picked up the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. I actually just emptied one of these and just wanted to restock it. This is a cream cleanser, but it foams. Again, if you have dry skin, but you like a cleanser that foams and feels like it's really cleaning your skin, this is perfection. If this were in a more expensive bottle and sold for double the price, I would still pay it. It's just truly like the best CeraVe cleanser and I feel like no one talks about it. I also picked up the Vanny Cream Vitamin C, which is new. The Garso Twins talked about this as one of their favorites and the texture is beautiful. I just actually filmed a AM routine for Instagram with this. It has a really beautiful watery texture that just layers beautifully. It's under $20. It has this little pump. It utilizes tetrahexyl decal ascorbate, which is a oil soluble and very stable vitamin C. And I've had really great luck with it brightening and the Garstock Twins said that they felt like it brightened their under eye quite a bit. So I'm really excited to keep using this, but it's been about like 10 days now and I'm really happy with it so far. I also picked up a mini size of the Lipicar AP Triple Repair and Moisturizing Cream by La Roche Posay. You can get this in like a 13 and a half ounce with a pump for under $20. This is for face and body. I love this for face in winter, but like I said, I could use it on my son's legs. He gets eczema there. I can use it on my face. It's really nourishing, but it doesn't feel like my skin's suffocating either. It's just a really great all around moisturizer for dry skin or body skin if you're not dry on your face. So I highly recommend checking this one out. La Roche Posay is like truly one of my favorite drugstore affordable brands, even though a lot of their stuff is more affordable in Europe, I feel like at this point, like I've looked and I feel like the prices just keep creeping up over $20. But like I said, this one you can get a huge, huge size for under $20 and they have their like 20% off sale. So it was, you know, 20% off of that, which was really good. I'm going to blow through all the sunscreens that I grabbed and share like speed reviews. I'll probably do a deep dive of all of these individually in reels or YouTube shorts so you can check them out there. But this is the Hero Cosmetics Force Shield. This is a newer one and it's an SPF 30. It's all mineral. This one is supposed to be better for normal to dry skin and it has a like pearl apricot pigments. And then I also tried the Hero Force Shield. This is their SPF 30 meant for acne prone, more oily skin. And it has a green tint that's supposed to neutralize redness. These both, when I actually use the right size, they dry down and then if you add more on top, it just sort of like started to pill and I had pilling down my neck. I was just really not impressed with either of these. I can see why people like them if they're maybe not using the right amount, but I like to slather on SPF 
and they were pilly on their own without even trying to wear makeup on top so these are both kind of a pass for me but I do have some winners here. This was my absolute favorite find. This launched in 2022. It's the Eucerin Age Defense Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen Lotion. This one is better for normal to dry skin, but they do have a oil control version that a lot of my oily skin creator friends love. You have to check this out. It was $13.99 for 2.5 ounces. So this is a lot bigger than, you know, the normal 1.7 ounce size that everyone sells and so affordable. No eye sting. Truly, truly such a gem and I can't shut up about this. It's so good. Another one that I am obsessed with is the r, &R Sun Serum. SPF 50. It's a mineral sunscreen and it's water resistant for 40 minutes and I'm always looking for mineral sunscreen options that I actually like at the drugstore and spoiler alert there aren't many. This does have a dark tint so it's not going to work on super fair skin but I actually like to wear this as my base. You can see how dark it is there. I like to wear this over another sunscreen so I'll actually wear this over a chemical sunscreen and I'll just like wear it a very little amount sheer it out kind of as my makeup base and it just kind of like evens out my skin tone and it's just a very glowy kind of like makeup tint that even if this didn't have SPF I would probably still wear but I just love that it has that extra SPF protection it will be perfect for summer again because it has that water resistance of 40 minutes really really love this and obviously if you have medium to dark skin this is not going to leave a white cast on you it's going to look so beautiful so highly recommend checking this out i feel like it will actually be the perfect color for me once i'm self tan so i'm really excited to keep using that one and i've heard that there may be some other sunscreens coming down the pipeline from them so i'm really excited about that i also grabbed the mineral uv tint in the shade light from neutrogena this is fine. I feel like it was pretty expensive for only being 1.1 ounce. I like that it's water resistant, but I don't know. I wasn't like wowed by this, but I don't hate it either. I think it's just like, it's fine. You know, I could survive using it. This one I just got and I've only tried once. It's the Bliss Blockstar Sheer Liquid Daily Sunscreen SPF 50. It's all mineral and it's water and sweat resistant for 80 minutes. This is a really, really thin liquid this did leave a little bit of a white cast on me but i thought it was really easy to spread into the skin for being 20 percent zinc oxide and i like that this is not tinted because their other one is and that worked well as like a makeup product for me but i couldn't use it you know the right amount all over my face with this i can but yeah it's it's still mineral so it's it left a little bit of white cast but it was beautiful under makeup and i I'm just like really impressed with the sunscreen innovations and I do think this is a step in the right direction for people especially who can't wear chemical sunscreens, their skin's just irritated by them. I think this is a great option, just know you have to wear makeup over this because unless you're very fair it's going to leave a white cast. I have two skin tints, I got the L'Oreal True Match Nude, the Hyaluronic Skin Tint, this is in the shade 0.5-2 which is their lightest shade and it's still a hair too dark for me. And then from Target I grabbed the Sensitive Skin Serum Foundation in the shade Light 01 which again I think is their lightest shade and this is a perfect perfect shade match for me this one's a hair dark but if I were had a self tan it could totally work this is glowy this has a very natural skin like finish that sets itself this actually to me is like I hate the word dupe but this feels identical to the Summer Fridays tint I'm really really impressed with it and this one's definitely more glowy and I think if you have more texture it might accentuate that it also doesn't set itself so I felt like I had to powder some areas this has like less coverage I think which I actually prefer but some people might prefer that this one has a little bit more coverage in it but yeah I'm just really impressed with both of these and I really enjoy wearing both of them. I think I'm going to wear this one more in the summer, but this to me is really impressive. I, I will say a lot of people DM'd me and complained about the droppers and how messy these get. So I am going to see if I can find some pumps on Amazon just to see if 
um, you know, I could make it work. But I was able to get both of these 20% off, so it seems like they're on sale quite a bit either at Ulta or Target. So definitely check these out. I'm also testing the Lumi True Match Foundation, which is what I'm wearing today. So far, I'm really impressed with it. I'm wearing the shade N. Just dropped it. I'm wearing the shade N.5, but this is what it looks like. So I will keep you posted on that, but I wanted to just see how it wears throughout the day and wear it a few other times before I share my thoughts on that. I also ordered a five five lip liners and I have more in my cart <laughs> but I've been trying to find a dupe for NYX mauve none of these are dupes but a lot of them are really pretty so I'll probably film like a whole video on that journey because I'm ordering a bunch more I just I have to find a dupe for this because I really love the color but the formula just is not long wearing enough so I'm trying I'm trying so I will share a lot of these are affordable I did get one buxom three LA girl and one NYX so I will swatch those at some point and then I also grabbed three more affordable bronzers I got the Milani in sunlight 01 the silky matte powder I got the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear matte waterproof I already broke this packaging which is extremely cheap and so far, not impressed with this packaging and not impressed with this formula yet, but I think I just need to play around with it a little bit more. So we'll see. And I, one that I've been loving though is the True Match Lumi Bronzet in the shade 01 Light, which as you can see is quite a light neutral shade. And this one's luminous, so that might not be for everyone, but I love a luminous bronzer. And so far this is beautiful. I have two more things really quickly. I have the Dior Addict Lip Tint in the shade Natural Nude, which is supposed to be this really beautiful pink. TikTok totally influenced me to buy this. And then my friend Nicolette, she has been talking about this Chanel Gloss in the shade 804. It's called Rose Nafe. And she said it looks like you got lip filler. It's of, you know like a very sheer sheer wash of pink that just plumps your lips I've only used this once but oh my gosh I can't believe I haven't worn the Chanel gloss formula before because I have a lot of their lip products but I haven't tried the gloss I never had really been a gloss person until like last year I feel like but this formula is incredible and I need more time to talk about it at some other point but let me know that was like very very fast and i would love to know what you want to hear more of i think i'm gonna do the bronzer roundup i'm gonna do a lip liner roundup i need to do a affordable drugstore roundup i have so many affordable skincare sunscreen favorites so let me know below what you want to see and otherwise i hope you guys enjoyed this quick haul and i will see you in the next video